the phones in just a moment, but first, in tonight's New York State of Mind, we continue celebrating women's history with Sensei Nancy Welch. She became a third-degree black belt in a once male-dominated karate style. Take a look. My name is Nancy Welch, and I'm a third-degree black belt in Kyokushin Karate. When I joined here, there were very few women in this style. It was a strong, traditional style, and there were three women, and I was one of them. You came in, and you're like, are you kidding me? Do how many push-ups, how many sit-ups, get hit? And I still remember the first time, and it was Sensei George, God bless his soul. <laughs> he was sparring me, and um, first time sparring, and I got older brother, so I knew how to hit somewhat. And I remember him hitting me, and I literally closed my eyes and went, ah, like this. And he stopped what he was doing. He goes, don't you ever close your eyes, and don't you ever make that noise again. <laughs> now, yeah, never going to happen again. You left here, a big bone in your body ached, and you kept saying, God, I don't know if I can do this. And then the next day came around, and it's like, I'm not giving up. When I made my black belt, I thought, oh, my God, I did it. A lot of people think, oh, that's it, you're a black belt, you're done. No, it's the yin and yang, it's the way, if you start all over again, it's like getting a white belt all over again. Now you have to learn how to teach it. Most people think karate is fighting. That's only one small part of it. For each level on a belt, you have to know so many katas, so many syllables, so many rangakus. We also teach self-defense. You don't start anything, but if you need to, you defend yourself. My goal is to make them better than me. Teach them how to use their voices, how to stand strong, how to be proud of themselves, or just the understanding that, yeah, I can do it. And you see the self-esteem level go up immensely. Whatever they've done while they're here, they take this with them. It's part of their lives. One of the honors I've had is um, my first black belt. I wrapped around, I think now it's six women, young girls and women here where they've started out with me and they've finished and gotten their black belt with me. We have more women now than we've ever had and I'm so proud. When you go for your third day in, um, you have to make up your own kata. And it has to be something unique to you. My kata is called Yojin. And it means awake awareness. <laughs> tournaments in the past and I've done very well with it so it means a lot I know if I was in need or in trouble any one of these guys are my brothers and they'd be by my side so it's more than just a style it's more than just oh yeah I'm going to go do karate no I'm going to my second family I'm going to my dojo my second home my advice for young people is there's nothing you can't do if you said you can't do something, you already defeated yourself. I was a, a small woman coming into a male-dominated, strong style, and they they thought, no, no way she's going to make it. I give her a month. I'm still here. It's amazing what you can do if you try. One of my favorite sayings is, a black belt is just a white belt that never gave up. So it teaches you you're capable of a lot more than you think. Want to find out more about this segment or others like it? Visit our website, homeworkhotline.org, and click on our video player.